it's Helen, we're here for the Zest session. Uh, it's going to be about 30 minutes, you can do this seated or standing, I'll give you options all the way through, uh, completely up to you. So just do as much or as little as feels right for you, move as far as feels comfortable for you, and if anything hurts or doesn't feel right, just stop and join back in when you're ready. Okay, so let's get set up. If you are seated, if you can just hip walk to the front third of your chair for me. Feet are flat on the floor, underneath your knees. I want you to sit up nice and tall, so imagining you have a bit of string connecting your head up to the ceiling. So we're coming away from the back support in the chair. If you are standing, I want you to stand with feet hip width apart. And this is really important, okay? And again, drawing that head up towards the ceiling. And by sitting and standing up tall, we're gonna feel our tummy muscles tightening. Okay, that's what we want. So to start off with, just take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, I was going to start with some shoulder shrugs. So just shrugging the shoulders up towards the ears and then dropping them back down again. So we're staying in a nice straight line. It's just going up and down and you'll feel your shoulder blades going up your back and then down your back. All the way up, all the way down. Keeping those nice deep breaths. Okay, Don't hold your breath at any point during this exercise, during this session. Breathe all the way in and all the way out. And this, the shoulder shrugs are just to start getting the neck and the shoulders ready for exercise and just getting any tension out as well. So one more, and then when you're ready, we're gonna turn to shoulder rolls. So we come forwards, up to the ears, and then we squeeze back. So nice big circles with those shoulders, whatever feels good for you, whatever circumference feels good for you. Just squeeze all the way up and all the way back. Good. Getting those deep breaths, getting that head up towards the ceiling. And then when you're ready, we're going to change direction. So we go back, up and forward. Good. Back. Two more. Nice deep breaths, looking straight ahead when we look at out on the horizon. Good. We're going to pause here. So just settling those shoulders down and back. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is some arm floats. So what I want you to do is I want you to float the arms up and wiggle the fingers at the same time and then down and wiggle those fingers. Now I'm not coming too high. I'm actually coming just what feels comfortable and that feels about comfortable for me. So it's nice and relaxed. Relax the elbow, not locking out. I'm just giving those fingers a good wobble and the thumb. I just realised I was not moving my thumb. And the reason that we're doing this is it seems a bit daft but it's really important to keep those fingers and thumbs moving with arthritis or anything else that affects the joints. We need to keep that range of movement going. So again, nice deep breaths. Come up as high as feels comfortable for you. That's about as high as I'm going to go at the moment. And this is just getting the shoulder warmed up. So the warm up is really, really important. Now, you don't need to keep in time with me. Just go at a pace that feels comfortable for you. Two more. Deep breath. This is the last one. Good, and we float the arms down, lovely. Just take a nice deep breath here. And as we breathe out, we're gonna go down to the, the, the foot, okay? So, using your chair to support, you're gonna to go toe and then heel. You keep on that one foot, so tap the toe, tap the heel. Okay, exactly the same if you're seated. Choose one foot, stay on it, heel, sorry, toe, heel, toe, heel, okay? And if you can, touch the toe and the heel to the same part of the floor. So this is warming up the ankle, the knee and the hip. Okay. Now, if we think about a scale of one to ten, one being really, really, really easy and ten being as hard as it can possibly be. This is the warm up. So we're still with ooh, about a two or a three out of ten. Okay. And that was why it's important to use your chair for support. Good. Let's pause there, let's do the other side. So taking the other foot, we go toe and heel. So this is again, warming up the ankle, knee and the hip, but it's really important to keep that ankle moving. So this is really gonna help with our walking, okay? Because as we walk, we should roll from heel to toe, and this keeps that movement going, so it makes it a lot more effective. Stops us shuffling our feet. Okay, nice, I found myself looking down there, so I'm gonna remind myself to keep looking forward, looking at the horizon. Five more seconds, four, three, two, 
and rest there. Well done. Just getting back to that start position. So sitting at the front of your seat, standing with feet hip width apart, drawing our head up to the ceiling. We're going to start reaching across the body. OK, so I want you to imagine that you're reaching across to grab something. OK, and if you notice that I'm standing, I've got that little turn in the body. If that feels good, you can do that. If not, take it out and just reach the arm. And as you're seated, it's exactly the same. But again, you might add a little lean and a little turn if that feels good for you. OK, try if you can to keep those arms up at chest height. If that is a little bit doesn't feel good in the shoulder, take it down a little bit, make a note, file it away and we'll see what happens next week. OK, but go at a pace and a height that feels good for you. So again, this is getting the shoulders warmed up and the chest muscles and a little bit of the spine as well if we're adding that little turn. 10 more seconds. Keep nice deep breaths as we're doing this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest there, well done. We're gonna go down to the, the legs now, okay? We're gonna do some side taps. So nice and gentle, just give me a nice pointed toe and tap that foot out to the side. Okay, if you're seated, exactly the same, but don't go out too wide, stay within the width of your chair, but it's that pointed toe that we really want to look at. And whether you're seated or standing, we're not bringing those feet back together. Keep that nice wide uh, hip width stance, okay? So imagine you're on train tracks. Don't come within the width of the train track. I want you to stay on the track. And it doesn't matter how big or small your side step is, it's just about getting the hips warmed up, the ankle and the knee. Good, 10 more seconds. So again, three, maybe four out of 10 here. Heart rate should be coming up a little bit. Your breathing should be getting up a bit. You're getting a little bit warmer. That's really normal. Five, four, three, two, and back to that start position. Good. Standing feet hip width apart, sitting at the front of your chair, draw your head up towards the ceiling. This time we're going to reach out to the side. So reach back in. So again, imagining you're grabbing something off the supermarket shelves, okay, or lunging after an unruly grandchild who's trying to run away. If you can, arm up at shoulder height if that feels good for you. If it doesn't, file it away. Seated, it's exactly the same, but you may find you can do slightly more of a lean when you're seated. Obviously, you've got the, the chair, okay? But try not to lean too far and lift one side of your bum off the chair, okay? Standing, if you want to give me a lean with the body, that's fine. If it doesn't feel good for you, then don't worry about it. But using that chair for support, okay? Good. Five more seconds. Four, three two and one back to that start position i'm going to go back down to the legs i'll show you seated for start go to some heel digs so literally come forward tap the heel on the floor and then bring it back standing exactly the same tap the heel so i'm pulling the toe back towards my shin okay and this is working the muscle at the front of the shin here so whatever pace feels good for you, I'm using my um, windowsill here for support. And the level of the support, if you're standing, that you want to use is absolutely up to you. You can use two hands, you might use one hand, you might use a finger, two fingers, whatever works for you. And that can change depending on the exercise that we're doing. Some of these are quite challenging in terms of balance, but that's for a reason. We need that. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one, coming back to that start position, feet are hip width apart, sitting at the front of your chair, draw your head up, really easy one, you can put your hand to opposite shoulder, exactly the same seated. So this is about the, the rotation of the shoulder. So just bring your hand out and across to that opposite shoulder. This is really important, again, putting your seat belt on and off, getting healthy, you get with your clothes on, getting your uh, jacket on, getting your shirt on, whatever it is, but just reaching around. It's one of those skills that gets a little bit harder in the shoulders. Good, nearly there. 10 more seconds, 
Nice deep breath, everybody. Keep breathing. Keep getting that head up tall. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Two more exercises in our warm up. Next one is really easy. We're going to get the blood pumping. I want you to pedal your feet. So leaving your toes on the floor. We're just bringing those heels up and we're pedaling. Okay. Seated, it is exactly the same. Okay. And you can feel as you bring on your toes, you feel your, your, your calf working. That's what we want. Okay. If you want to add the arms, I've got 90 degrees at the elbow. So a right angle. And I'm just gently, we're doing the warm up moving them backwards and forwards okay so 10 more seconds here this is getting us ready for the main section we've got one more exercise after this five four three two and slowly bring that down fantastic last exercise as always for our warm-up we're going to go wide and narrow wide same as if you're seated wide now, if you can, hands up at chest height, and as I go wide, I'm coming past the width of my um, body, if that makes sense. So I'm warming up the chest muscles, I'm warming up the back muscles, I'm getting the shoulders ready. This is our two for one, dynamic stretching and mobility. Good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Give everything a shake. Good, warm up is done. I hope you're feeling a bit warmer. I certainly am. So we're gonna go into our main section. Okay, so just resetting. Sitting at the front of your chair for me. Standing feet hip width apart. Draw the head up towards the ceiling. You'll feel your toe muscles kicking, looking at that horizon. We're gonna have three exercises that are gonna get us really nice and warm. Okay, so we're gonna start off pedaling the feet again. Okay, so when you're ready, this time we'll get those arms, if you're using them, a slightly bit bigger. So we're going to get our heart rate up, we're going to get warmer, um, and we're going to get our breathing up slightly. So on that 1 to 10 scale, we're probably looking at about 5. So when you're ready and seated, it's exactly the same, start to bring it into a march. So it's the same movement, but then at the last minute I'm peeling my toes off the floor. So it's heel toe, return toe heel. Again, seated, exactly the same. You might want to keep it slightly lower because if you're seated, it can be quite tough on the old hips. Okay, but exactly the same. So we peel the toe off, place it back down. Really simple. Getting those arms going. We're going to do 10 more seconds. We're moving into our punches after this. Five, four, three, two, and one well done bring that down fantastic so resetting feet hip width apart sitting at the front of your chair i want your fists up draw your head up to the ceiling and start to punch it out okay so this is the straight punches so as i come back my elbows are tucked into my waist protect your ribs and my hands come to my jaw imagining the person in front of you who you're punching is the same height so aim for their nose or your nose in a mirror. Okay, if that doesn't feel comfortable, that's fine. Go to the height that does, make a note of it, or file it away. See what happens. Good, 10 more seconds. Heart rate should be up. Five out of 10. Three, two, and one. Fantastic, well done. Good, one more exercise to keep that heart rate up. So let's take a deep breath here. Breathe it out. Good. We're going to do our side steps. So we're going to step in, step and in. Whatever pace feels good for you. Seated, it is exactly the same, but just keep within the width of your chair. Okay. Step together. It's like an odd, a dance move, isn't it? Now, if you have been doing these sessions for a long time, you can go to the double step if you want to. You can do a single and add some arms, okay? But do make sure when you step in, you keep that distance between your feet. We don't want to come all the way in because now I've got an unstable base and I could fall over, which I don't want to do. So I'm still stepping, but I'm keeping that distance. And again, if you're using your arms, use one hand for support if that feels better. 
if you want to go for the two arms. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, well done. Let's reset, so take a deep breath in, breathe it out. <sighs> Lovely. So sitting at the front of your chair for me, standing with feet hip width apart, draw the head up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna do some arm circles. Take the arm across, up, and around. So I want you to imagine you're washing the windows in a lovely big circle. Or if you remember the first Karate Kid, the original and the best, this is wax on and wax off, okay? Make that circle as big or as small as feels comfortable for you. And just notice the difference, if there is any, between your right arm and your left arm. I can feel my right shoulder is not very happy today. So that circle may be slightly smaller. I can just feel a slight little pinch as I come up and around. So I'm going to just take that distance down a little bit and make that circle a little bit smaller until my shoulder's a bit happier. Okay. But nice deep breaths, keeping that head up towards the ceiling. Okay. I'm looking out at the horizon. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic work. Good. We're going to move down to the legs now. Now we're going to do some, this is going to challenge your balance a little bit. Okay. So I want you to choose your level. I'm going to use one hand on the windowsill. We're going to take one leg and tap it forwards, side, forwards, and back. Stay on that leg. Forwards, side, forwards, and back. Seated. It's exactly the same, but just take it out to the side as wide as that chair allows. Okay, so if that was a bit much, you can come back to the start and then tap to the side. Okay, if you don't like that out to the side, that does challenge your balance, it's quite high challenge on the balance. You can come forward, side, forward, okay, whatever works for you. Nice deep breaths. This is really important to stand up tall doing this. It's going to help with your balance. And you will feel the leg that you're standing on. We will change legs in a minute, I promise. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Work your way back to the start position. Give those legs a little bit of a pedal. Just get the blood flowing. And then we're going to do the other leg. Okay, so again, I'm using my hand here for support. I'm going to tap forwards, side, forwards and back. Same seated, just on the other leg now. Again, if you're not happy with that sideways movement, come forwards, return, side. So this is all about moving that hip in all the directions that it can move. And we move it forwards when we're walking a lot. But we often forget to move it to the side. I want you to strengthen to the side, it's really important. That helps with balance, with movement, with gardening, with everything getting in and out of cars. And again, going at a pace that feels good for you. Don't worry about me or the person next to you, in front of you, behind you. Do what feels right for you. Because we are all individual and we should embrace those individuals. Individualities. Can't speak today. Two more. Nice deep breaths. I'm gonna look forward, keeping my head up. Next one's our last one. Lovely. Bringing those hands in. Fantastic. Give him a little pedal. Good, excellent. Right, we're going to do an upwards reach. I'm going to show you something different. I'm going to show you seated to start with. We're going to add some tiptoes. So if you're seated, you come onto the toes, you reach your hand, you come down, you lower the toes. Then the other side, onto the toes, reach the hand and down. Standing again, using that chair in front of you for support. Onto the toes, reach up lower and lower and then change hand reach and this is all about getting things in that high cupboard hiding food that you like so no one can reach it now reaching up high is going to challenge your balance if you still feel a little bit unstable do a little reach shorten the movement okay do what feels right for you Make it slow, try not to rush through this. And what I'm really thinking about is when I go on my tiptoes, I want all five toes and the ball of my foot to stay in contact with the ground. Because what happens is my, my foot really wants to roll out, really, really, really wants to roll out. 
and that's going to put pressure through, pressure through the ligaments and the tendons and make the knee unstable. We don't want that. So I'm making sure that my big toe and that ball of the foot stays in contact. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. That is really challenging in terms of to balance. Fantastic work. Good. Two more exercises. So we do this one a lot, but I think it's really important. We're going to do stepping over an object. Okay. So again, I'm going to side onto my um, support. I want you to imagine there's an object in front of you. That could be a slipper. It could be a pile of books. You decide what height works for you. We step over and then we step back. And then we change leg. Okay, seated, it's exactly the same. There's an object in front of you, step over, step back. And this is, this is really obviously why we do this. My house is full of clutter, cats <laughs> that like to go under my feet. So it's really important that we keep ourselves able to step over objects, also getting up and down curbs. But the level of the object is completely up to you. So this is one that's you can progress by a slightly higher object. So today you might be, might be stepping over a pair of slippers, which are quite low to the ground. Tomorrow you may be stepping over a couple of books. So you can make it higher and slightly bigger step. It may be a slightly longer object. Do what's right for you, okay? It's all about little progressions. This is a long, fitness is a long journey. You don't have um, results immediately unfortunately I wish we did five seconds four three two and make your way back to the start position good so one more exercise before we cool down come into the front of your chair for me feet hip width apart if you're standing draw that head up towards the ceiling we're going to do an upright row so I want you to reach down and pull up elbows high hands slightly lower if you're standing you might want to give me a little bend of the knee if that feels comfortable and if you want to you can have one hand on support and then you can change the hand that's on support completely up to you if you're seated reach through the middle of your legs pull up again you give me a little lean from the hips if you don't want to and you don't want to do the knee bend if you're standing take it out just use the arm this is just about moving that shoulder in this really important position this is great for picking up shopping grandkids things you've dropped on the floor, just reaching and pulling. But the most important thing is that my elbows lead, so my hands are at chest height, my elbows come higher. Okay, nearly there. Nice deep breaths, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, well done, rest there. Give everything a little bit of a shake. Good work, we're gonna cool down now, okay? So, let's take a nice deep breath in. Breathe it out. Reset, sitting at the front of your seat for me, sit up tall. Standing up, um, feet hip width apart, standing up tall, look out the horizon. All we're gonna do, as we did at the start, some side taps, okay? But we're gonna make the movement smaller and a little bit slower. This is a cool down, so we're telling the body it's time to relax. You never just want to stop exercise, you always need to cool down because you need to make sure that the blood starts pumping back as it should do, because when we do an exercise on one area, the blood goes to that area to help it, and we need to make sure it's back everywhere, okay? Good. I do apologise if you can hear growling, it appears my cats are in some sort of fight outside. They're fine. Good. Nice and slow, deep breaths. Okay, keep going with this while I show you the next exercise. So keep going with your side taps. We're going to move, when you're around, I say, into front taps. And we're going to make them quite small. So if you're seated, it's a little reach forward. We're going to do it with you standing in five, four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, go into your front taps. So it's a little, little tap forward, nice and slow. Okay. Nice deep breaths. I was looking down, I'm going to look forward. Making sure you keep the distance between your feet. Good. Nice deep breaths. So again, this is nice relaxing time. We're not, we're, we're going back down on that scale of one to ten. We're hitting about a two or a three at the moment and we're getting lower. 
should feel ourselves cooling down. My breathing's coming back under control. Okay, we're gonna go into heel tap. So as we did in the warm up in five, four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, heel tap, heel dig, sorry. Good. And again, exactly the same seated. Now keep going with this because I'm going to show you the stretch that we're going to do, but keep going with your heel dig. So when I say seated people, you're going to just bring one leg out, heel on the floor, and a slight lean forward from the chest. And you'll feel a lovely stretch at the back, but not yet. Standing, I'll do it with you. So in five, four, three, two, and one. Standing, just leave one leg out in front. Seated, extend that leg, heel on the floor. Now, if you're standing, my front leg is straight, my back leg is bent, and I'm gonna push my bum back. And you'll feel a nice stretch down that straight leg. Seated, ease your chest forward a little bit. You don't need a lot here. Don't try and reach for your toes or anything. Just feel that lovely stretch. Deep breath in, breathe out, and curl back to those heel digs. Okay. And we're going to do the other leg in five, four, three, two, and one. Just leave that other leg out in front, seated, extend that other leg. Front leg is straight, back leg is bent. Push my bum back, chest is lifted. Deep breath here. Breathe out. And uncurl. Fantastic. Give those feet a little pedal. Good. Feet hip width apart, sitting at the front of your chair. I'm going to take one arm out to the side and across the body. Four more. Deep breath in as we go wide. Out as we go narrow. Three more. Wide. Narrow. Two more. Good. This is our last one. So as we go wide. We come across the body, we're going to pause here, hand goes above, not on the elbow, we're going to settle the shoulders down, and it's a gentle bit of pressure from this hand, and you'll feel a stretch in this shoulder, okay? Not too much, don't bounce it or yank it in, just a little bit of pressure through the heel of the hand, deep breath, breathe out, gently release. Good, let's do the other side, so wide, and across. Good with the breathing. Breathe in to go wide, out to fold. Three more. Exhale across. Two more. Breathe in, go wide, across. This next one's our last one. Breathe in and go wide. Breathe out. Pause here. Hand goes above, not on the elbow. Settle the shoulders down, and it's a gentle bit of pressure through this hand here. You notice my fingers aren't actually doing anything though, it's just the heel of my hand. Deep breath in. Breathe it out. Gently release. Good. We're going to go wide arms to a big hug. So you want to take your arms nice and wide, as wide as you can. Feel the stretch across the chest. Deep breath in. Breathe out and give yourself a big hug. Separate those shoulder blades. Reach as far around as you can. And again, arms go wide, as wide as you can. Reach behind you and fold forward. Good, one more. Stretch that chest as wide as you can. And fold forward, relax and round. Stretch that back. Lovely. Unfold. We're going to finish our five breaths. So hands at your centre. I want you to take a deep breath in. Hands go up to the ceiling. Look up at your hands. Breathe in. Breathe out. Arms float to the floor. Four more. So nice deep breath in. Shoot those hands up. Look up at your hands. Exhale. Float. Three more. So an even bigger breath this time. Breathe in, stretch higher. Breathe out and fold. Two more, nice deep breath in. Shoot the hands up, look up at the hands. Exhale and float.
eight. This next one is our last one. So let's make it as big a breath as you can. Breathe in, 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 in. Exhale. And down. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're feeling good. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. Take care.